Well, just in case you didn't know it, this week has been designated Thinking of You Week, and it's about showing love, care, and happiness towards each other by sending handwritten cards to say, well, thank you. So this week at lunchtime, we're going to have a daily snapshot of how people are doing this across Wiltshire. But we begin today with Sharon Nittle, who's Chief Executive Officer of the Greeting Card Association, who's going to kind of set this whole thing up for us and get it running on the road. Hello, Sharon. How are you? Hello, Graham. I'm very well. I'm, I'm full of love. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that, I'm jolly. So am I. There we go. We'll love the world together. Now, this isn't the first event of its kind, is it? No, this is the fourth year, and it's been growing uh, year on year. And it's just such a lovely thing. We've got, um, we have our industry involved, but we've also got lots of charities and schools and, um, and all, all sorts of organisations involved in promoting this week. I mean, clearly... Yeah, it's going to say, clearly it's going to help the likes of card retailers and postal services along the way, but um, I, I guess there's also another sub-message in all of this, isn't there? There really is, and you don't have to buy the cards. Everybody that I know, uh, well, not just everybody that I know, but I'm sure most people have a box of cards under their bed or in a drawer somewhere. So, um, so you can either send the cards that you've already got, or you can make cards. We've got uh, and the whole crafting side is, is another huge area. It's the number one craft hobby in the UK, making greeting cards. So, you know, making cards is, is another option. So we're not just saying you have to go out and buy cards. We're saying um, it's just lovely to receive a handwritten message in a card because handwriting is, is a really personal thing. How much um, do you think our card buying and sending habits have changed in recent times? Because, I mean, you know, we have emails, texts, social media. Um, has that really messed around with the tradition of sending physical cards as much as we think it probably has? Um, I, we still send a huge number of cards in this country. In fact, we're the world capital of greeting card sending. We're, we're going to spend, well, we have already spent £1.75 billion on cards last year. So we're massive. We, we really, really love cards in this country. And it's a really special way of, of communicating. Um, you know, you go to the continent, you try and find a card shop. You can't find a card shop. <laughs> we have loads of them. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So what, what do you think that says about us as a nation then? <laughs> I think we, I think we're a lot more emotional than we pretend we are. I think we, we really like to, um, we, 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 we like to feel loved and 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 to show that we've taken time um, to to show that you care. And when you actually handwrite something, that is actually taking time. It means so much more than um, than receiving an instant um, text message or um, a social media message. Um, it's uh, it's actually been scientifically shown um, that the brain lights up in all sorts of ways when you receive a card, a message, handwritten message in a card, than if you um, receive a, a text or, or anything that's been done digitally. It's a little bit of little bit of magic on in in, uh, in ink on paper. And of course, card manufacturers, I guess, have come, had to come up with some pretty creative designs and and words to attract us to buy. I mean, how difficult is that now? Because we are living in a world where everybody's competing, and it is it's a, it, everyone wants to be creative. It's a, it's a hugely competitive industry, and we're really lucky to have a huge number of small publishers. So we've got all the big guys, um, we've got medium-sized publishers, but there are people, the people that I tend to spend most of my time with are people who are starting up greeting card publishing businesses, and it's just really, really interesting to see all this creativity flowing into the industry from all directions. People have been in all sorts of other walks of life, and they think, ah, oh, I want to go and publish greeting cards, and it's it's just, it's just absolutely fascinating and really heartwarming. Now, I, I talk from a personal point of view that when it comes to uh, post-Christmas birthdays and things, I have a bit of a struggle uh, to get my children to, to write their thank you cards. And I think, you know, because whatever age you are, it's an important thing to do, clearly. I mean, we have birthdays, weddings, that special occasions. But where does the simple thank you card rank in all of this? Oh, we don't have figures to say exactly how many thank you cards are sent. I think I think it's really important. It's a really important discipline to send thank you cards. Um, and when you do receive a thank you card, you really feel thanked, don't you? You feel well and truly appreciated. Um, and I, I make my own. Lot. I make my thank you cards, yeah. <laughs> That's brilliant. That's I got a little brilliant. stamp with thank you on it. 
And I just, oh. I just make those because I don't, I don't, you know, because it's not like Christmas cards that take forever. But you know, if it's just a thank you <laughs> for somebody, it's a nice thing to do. And I think you're right. Going back to what you were saying earlier, I think there is something, something quite therapeutic about making your own cards. There really is, and it really, it's a, it's a massive hobby in the UK, and they can get very, very elaborate, or they can be very, very simple, and mm. um, it's, it's, it's a great way of expressing creativity. Well, I'd like to know, seeing as you're, you're on uh, today, today, Sharon, uh, if you're listening now to Sharon here, who's the CEO of Greeting Card Association, I'm sure she'd be very pleased to hear about this as well. When was the last time you made a card and sent it to somebody, and what was it for? Uh, give me a call on 03459 513366. You can tell Text 81333, start your text with the word Wiltshire, or you can email graham.seaman at bbc.co.uk. When was the last time you made a card yourself and sent it to somebody? Didn't buy it from a shop, but you made it yourself. I'd, I'd be very keen to hear it. If you, um, Sharon, slightly put you on the spot, and I don't mean to, but if you, if you could write one message in a card right now and send it to everyone listening so they can open the big envelope, what would the message be right now? It would be help to spread a wave of love, caring and happiness and connect with people that you care about. Lovely. That's what it would be. Put, <laughs> a little tear in my eye. Uh, lovely talking to you, Sharon. Thank you. Lovely to speak to you too. Thanks, Graham. Uh, Sharon Little there, who's the CEO of Greeting Card Association, kicking off our week talking about uh, showing appreciation for people. Now, why?